So the final race of Trials Day 2 already, and it's a four mile one furlong maiden, and I know everybody's going to be looking forward to this because everybody wants a good national horse, don't they? Deban Shaman, Alex Cherry, Ingebird, Darren Thompson, The Chair, Joshua Sutherland, Zinc, Kevin Meenan, Da Vinci, Paul Rhodes, Last Suspect, Graham Clutterbook, Sans Loire, Ryan Costello, Ding Dong, David Robertson, Superior Ninja, Derek Hinton, Inquisitress Wink, and Sensitive Jewel for Craig Allen, Avatar for Leon Van Rensburg, and Blue Penny for Martin Lewis. So a smallish field. I expected a few more than this, to be honest. Everybody wants a four-miler. Uh, they're away and racing. Oh, the two people of them want to snook two in as well. But it's Zinc in the lead. As they make their way towards the first of the 24 fences. And over it they all go. And they're all safely to the other side. Zinc ran in the Grand National last year. So maybe Kevin Reno wants to see if that one is any better this season than it was last year. Quite a few of these long distance horses tend to stick around for a few seasons so you get to know them quite well. If you're doing the commentating and as they skip over the second, the two down on their nose but they all got over it okay. Past the big screen and the open top stand for the final time today. Everybody getting nice and wet. Not worried about the social distancing by the looks of it either. Two more circuits to go. Time to take the dog for a walk, or make a cup of tea, or pour a glass of wine, or whatever it is you want to do. If you don't want to listen to me waffling for the next seven or eight minutes, but it's the zinc in the lead. Well, it's not the zinc, it's just zinc as they take the water. And zinc is over it clear. Hard lengths clear, in fact, off the chair in second, then Saint Loire in third, then Da Vinci and Avatar after that one. Inquisitress Wink is after that one as they take the fourth, which they're all to the other side of. Looking towards the back, Inga Bird, just the back marker. And Blue Penny. And Blue Penny running in my new jumping colours, which are supposed to be the red rum colours, but Grey has got the cap mixed up, so I keep reminding him to change it before the season starts, because that's why my jump horses are not going to win, because they're confused. So get over the fifth. And Zinc is in front, well clear. Again, the only Grey in the race, so... A bit of a surprise because last season we did see a lot of greys and we haven't seen many at all today. And Zinc is in front. And a good six lengths clear of the chair in second. Da Vinci and Avatar as they take the sixth. Which they're all safely over. I'm fairly certain that Zinc had the run in the National as well because I know I had one in it that was up there with it. It was called Lady Sink. And the two names were interesting to keep saying together. I'm not sure how far it got, whether it got all the way around, but it was definitely in the lead. For a good old weight, so it's a known front runner. I'm rather surprised Alex Cherry hasn't got one up there in the lead in this. This is towards the back. But it's an undisputed six length lead for Zinc. And the pace is quite steady, as you'd expect, but you sometimes get some front runners in these. One or two of the trainers that used to have front runners have not been around for a season or so. Carla Agante was used to have ones that went off lickety split in these long distance races it's not been around in SO7 as they take the 7th they get over that, nice to see one or two people back from a few seasons ago and some people gone back from before even I turned up so nice to see them back as well even though I don't necessarily mean back I mean nice to see you for the first time they <laughs> skip over the 8th and we've had a decent turnout on trials day 2 I'm Talking to Gray earlier in the week, and he said he'd only got horses from one trainer. I think that was about Tuesday or Wednesday. And we we're thinking of putting this back a week. But uh, no need, as everybody was saving them up for the last minute as they get over the ninth. And Zinc is in front by a good six length. Avatar is second, Superior Ninja, and then the Chair and Da Vinci. And Sensitive Jewels and Inquisitress Wink, and Saint Loire. And Ding Dong and Blue Penny, Ingebird de Bancherman, and finally Last Suspect. So, most of the trainers in this are. Oh, Zinc went right through the top of that. My horns have been playing for a while, so you really need me to make the speech I was going to make at any part of this race because you all know anyway. So, if anybody watching who doesn't know, if you've been in these trials and you've not been doing very well, you've been finishing out the back. So we'll get over that one and the Bancherman made a mistake. Don't worry about it too much because these all these races have been run off level weight. So you've got the you've got the champion horses, the group one horses on the flat and the you know, big grade one horses on the jumps. Running off level weights to horses that might well turn out to be 
lower grade handicapper so you've got no chance of winning anyway so if you've got within I don't know if you've got within four or five lengths of the leading group on a flat and you've sort of finished in the first half dozen or even the first dozen maybe in some of these jump races don't give up because you've got a good chance of picking up some handicap races because they're not all on level weights all the races in the league but quite a lot of them aren't most of them probably aren't and doesn't necessarily mean that you're not going to do any good so stick at it and don't give up it's zinc in front from sensitive jewels in second avatar is in third and if you've just stumbled across this and want to know how to get involved strategic designs forum on the online league page and it'll tell you all about it and you can pick the game up for about 25 quid i think from you can get it from steam as well and make sure you're playing in league mode and then export your horses and you can be in the league and there we go then plenty of guides on the forum plenty of people to give you some assistance uh, most people manage to pick up at least one win in their first season so it's pretty addictive if you get into it though and it didn't cost any money once you've paid your 25 quid for the software either it's not one of those things you've got to keep paying to be in it so they get out of this ditch and over that one we go back to the race then now zinc's in front from sensitive jewels in second avatar is third then superior ninja and inga burden ding dong and then the chair and inquisitress wink and da vinci seen that many fallers today i'm not sure doncaster's probably the best track for trials racing because the fences are not that stiff i don't think we should have come somewhere where you need to jump a bit better as i said that one of mine did fall earlier but zinc's in front from Ding Dong second, Sensitive Jules is third, then Inga Bird and Superior Ninja Avatar is after that one. Another thing that we've noticed from the trials today, well, I've noticed the trials, I don't think anyone has seen them so far. Um, the winds have been spread out a lot more this time than they, they are normally. The last few trials, the trials day one, I think Craig Allen was the undisputed king, and last year, League on One Rensburg won every race on one. We certainly haven't had that today. And two new names popping up. And make things quite interesting as we get into the final mile of this. I've waffled away for three miles, would you believe it? I skip over number 18 then. And Zinc been in the lead all the way. From sensitive jewels and inquisitress wink. Second and third, then Ding Dong Blue Penny is creeping closer around the outside, then the chair and avatar. Oh, Blue Penny's gone, and so too is the Bancher Man. So, goodness gracious me, just as I say that nothing's been falling, then one of mine goes and falls. And poor old Alex Cherry as well. I think that's a second fall he's had today as well. Uh, the Bancher Man was around last season, I think. So, those two are out of it as they take the 20th. Uh, one or two scrappy looking jumps at that one as well. Uh, sensitive Jules has now come through to just about show in front. So Sensitive Jules is just about the leader from Zinc the Grey in second. Ding Dong has moved into third. Avatar is fourth. Then Da Vinci and Inquisitor's Wink. And the chair is after that one. And Superior Ninja. But it's Sensitive Jules who's kicked on then and jumped that one really well. Got away with it. And suddenly put four lengths between himself, herself and Zinc. And it's Sensitive Jules who's now racing towards the next fence. Then with a lead of six lengths all of a sudden. So Sensitive Jules looks like if it's Stands up, it wins at the moment, skips over to third last, gets over it nicely. Mistake by Avatar. Ding Dong is now moved into second. The chair is trying to run on. Zinc is now starting to drop back. Then Inquisitor's Wink, but Sensitive Jules is in the lead. Did it go too soon? One or two of Craig Allen's did that last season. Hit the front too soon, but it's Sensitive Jules over the second last in the lead. From Ding Dong and Avatar trying to close in. The chair and Inquisitor's Wink. They've got one more fence to take, and it's Sensitive Jules in the lead. The lead's down to four again. Ding Dong is second and making ground. Avatar is third. Sensitive Jules is under strong pressure then racing towards his final fence. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Looks like he's got enough in hand. Avatar's trying to run on. So too is Ding Dong. But Sensitive Jules is going to take it I think uh, up towards the line. The four mile is going to go to Sensitive Jules. Sensitive Jules wins it. Avatar second. Ding Dong third. And Inga Bird and Chris Wink in the chair and Super Ninja. San Luar was the last one to finish. And Blue Penny and De Banshee Man were the only two that didn't get round and it is Craig Allen's probably turned out with the most winners I think again today 
but not certainly last minutes last time. Sensitive Jules for Craig Allen, the winner. Avatar for Leon Van Rinsburg, second. Ding Dong for David Robertson was third. Ingerbird for Darren Thompson, fourth. And Inquisitive Wink for Craig Allen again was fifth. So that's your trials day two done then. I think there's going to be a trials day three. I don't know when, 